All right, so we're going to do a quick video on the lattice method of multiplication. So very similar to the box method. And the reason why they call it the lattice method is because, um, well, if you remember what lattice looks like, now we've seen it every single day when we go to recess. They have it on the portables. But lattice is simply this crisscross, um, usually crisscross anyway, wood or plastic material. And so... If I had the problem of 123 times 15, for example, I could do standard algorithm. 123 times 15, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, tick, tack, 0, 1 times 3, 1 times 2, 1 times 1, add my two partial products together, 5, 4, 8, 1, 1,845. So that's standard algorithm. Um, other method is that box method, and so we can draw a box. Now I know that 123 is really 100 plus 20 plus 3, and 15 is really 10 plus 5. And so if you remember from fourth grade, that was when you did the box method, how you learned it. And so uh, a thousand times or 100 times 10 is a thousand. 10 times 20 will give me 200. 10 times 3 is 30. 100 times 5 is 500. Kind of the good thing about it is you can do it in any order as long as you fill in every box. Two times, uh, 20 times five is 100, and five times three is 15. Um, where this number, where this kind of uh, makes it difficult is because now I have three partial products that I have to add up. So I have 1,500, 300, and 45. So I need to add those three together. And when I do add those together, I will see 1,500, times 300 or 1,500 plus 300, not times, but plus, is going to give me 1,800 plus my 45 will give me 1,845. So I do get the same answer and it works the same way. Now the lattice method is very similar, um, except for it's a little bit cleaner. Now for bigger numbers, lattice method is great. A three-digit by a two-digit, lattice works good. A two-digit by two-digit, standard algorithm, box method, both perfect. A two-digit by one-digit, standard algorithm. A one-digit by one-digit, standard algorithm, or you should probably memorize it by the time you get to fifth and sixth grade. Um, but let's look at the lattice method. And so it's very similar to the box method, so I am going to draw my box, just like I've been doing, and I know how to do since fourth grade at least. The only difference now is I have diagonals. So that's why they call it the lattice method because it kind of looks like lattice a little bit. And instead of writing 100 plus 20 plus 3, I only have to write 123. And then instead of writing 10 plus 5, I can write 15. Now, the only difference is I'm going to write it on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side, and we'll see why in just a moment. Other than that, it works exactly the same. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. So you were just doing two-digit numbers is the only difference. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And 3 times 5 is 15. So now I filled in all my boxes, and I'm just going to add the diagonals. And so diagonal, diagonal. All right, so I'm just adding up those diagonals. So 5, that's just 5. 3 plus 1 plus 0 is going to be 4. 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 is 8. 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, and then that's 0. And then what you'll notice is that if I circle this number, 1,845, is my answer much cleaner I didn't have to add up all these different things together like it just was much easier as far as adding so a three digit by two digit a three digit by three digit and beyond lattice method is very nice very clean other than that smaller numbers two digit by two digit and below box method standard al algorithm both work great
So for a larger, a four digit by a three digit. Now you won't have to do this in sixth grade or fifth grade especially, but um, I just wanna show you that we could do it if we wanted to by using this method. All right, so one times two, one times seven, one times four, nine times two, nine times seven, nine times four, five times two, five times seven, five times four, six times two, um, no. <laughs> six times seven, six times four. All right, and then I'm just gonna add up the diagonals. So this diagonal here is four, two, two, and zero is four, two and four is six, plus five is 11, 12, 13, plus three gives me a nine, 19, that gives me two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that diagonal is 15, 2, that's 10, 16, 16 plus 7, that'll give me a 23, uh, 3 plus 2 plus 0 is 5, and so then I get my answer, and so my answer is going to be 535,944, and we got it working.